There is invitation at this table. It is Christ's invitation. And one of the things we see in Jesus' ministry, whenever he communes with people in his earthly ministry, is that he is in the constant business of inviting people to be in communion with him. Much of the gospel has to do with Jesus' invitation. And one of the things that we see about the good news of the gospel is that this invitation is for everyone. And that those who are invited to participate in that wedding feast and inevitably invited to participate in this supper are indeed blessed. Jesus tells a parable in Matthew 22 as he tells many parables about feasting and eating together in which he says that the kingdom of heaven is like a king who sets and plans a wedding banquet for his son. He sets out his servants to give a grand invitation and people refuse to come. The invited guests turn him down. They don't want to come. He sends out another wave of invitations and unlike before, it gets a little worse. The invited guests ignore the, not only ignore the servants, but they go back to work. They're too busy to come and in fact, some of the guests uh, take, the, take the servants, arrest the servants, and kill the servants. And then the king comes and raises the city for these servants, who, for these guests who killed his servants, and then gives out a third and final invitation. And the king says, go and invite everyone. Go along the thoroughfares of life, the highways and the byways of, of life, and invite everyone. There's this huge party. And as they gather for that wedding feast, the king walks through his, uh, his uh, son's wedding banquet, and he sees one person who's not dressed right. It says that everyone wore their wedding robes except for this one dude. The king says, why are you not dressed? And uh, the guy was speechless, didn't have an answer. He wasn't ready. And so the king has that particular person arrested for not being prepared and not being in the right dress, for dishonoring his son and, and his new daughter-in-law and has him banished to where there is gnashing and wailing of teeth. And then right after that, Jesus tells of, an, of uh, another parable. Let me see here. Uh, we have the parable of the, uh, uh, tells of another parable uh, in, which he, uh, in which there are 10 bridesmaids. The groom goes on a trip and the 10 bridesmaids are waiting and they're preparing the wedding feast and as the, groom's, the groom comes back, it says that out of the 10 bridesmaids, five of them were not prepared. They didn't buy enough oil. And as the night went on, they fell asleep. And finally, when the bridegroom came, the bridesmaids woke up and got ready. And five of them ran out of oil. They weren't prepared. And they were struggling and wrestling with how to prepare for the arrival of the groom. And when the groom came... Uh, they started a party, and the ones who weren't prepared were out buying oil, so when they got back, they were knocking on the door, let us in, let us into the party. And the groom said, I don't know you. Who are you? You weren't prepared, and they stay outside. Jesus, throughout his ministry, talks about not only in, in this feast of being an invitation, Christ's invitation to everyone, but also an invitation that really challenges us to think about how we respond to that invitation. Because though we see this meal as a, as a symbol of that great wedding banquet to come, the invitation is very real. Are we, and not only do we have to respond to the invitation, not make ourselves so busy, or perhaps deride God's word so much that we don't respond, but the other question is, are we ready? Notice in verse seven, it says that this is the great wedding feast, the wedding banquet, of the, of, the, uh, of the Lamb of God, and the bride has made herself ready. There's not only a response to the invitation, but there's a readiness. Are you ready? And in God's word, in Revelation 19, as we see the second coming of Christ, the question is, are we ready? Have we responded to the invitation of God? And are we continuing to respond to God in those many thousands of ways in our daily life, in our weekly life, in which Jesus invites us to journey with him in new ways, in deeper ways, and in ever creative ways to continue not only to respond and be ready, but invite others to respond as well. There is an invitation today to this table, and it nourishes us. Are we ready, and how do we respond? 